and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about Aerial Rider. And no one bike in particular, but all of their bikes. Uh, and what could possibly be happening in the future with Aerial Rider. So first off, I wanted to make mention about their bikes being on sale. They have three, make that four, I guess you could say, models. Or three models and one has a step through and a step over version. So first of all, the X class is what the one I'm speaking of there with the option of a step through or step over. And that bike is regularly priced at $23.99. That one's on sale right now for $18.99. And then uh, either choice whether you want to step through or step over the only thing is with that bike is that the black at this time Is not available and I think if I remember right when I read on their site It said that they the black one wouldn't be available until January sometime January of 2022 so you might have to wait a while if you want the black one but if you want the blue or red you're good to go right now and then the other bikes uh, they have they have the uh, aerial rider grizzly which is a bike that i own i'm not riding it today but i do own that bike and that bike is regularly now priced at 34.99 but it's on sale for 32.99 and that's the price it used to be funny enough and then the uh Aerial Rider Kepler is regularly priced at about $2,100 now and so it's on sale for $1,900. I think I got that right. I'm going to go this way. I will leave a, a link in the description if you want to go and check out Aerial Riders bikes. But the other thing I wanted to talk a little bit about today is with Aerial Rider is what does the future hold as far as what new bike model are they going to come out with next? It's been a little while since the, uh, the Kepler was the last new model and of course after that they did come out with the step through version of the x class which i think was a good idea and now i'm wondering what they will do next because if you look at their bikes all of those bikes are 52 volt so i'm wondering if they might up the game and go 60 volt in the future or will they stay with 52 or will they go to 48 I really don't think they would go down, although you never know. I wondered also if they might possibly come up with in the future since they're kind of popular with a uh, folding bike. And that could very well be 48 volt. Um, but I'm wondering if they might go 60 volt uh, in the future. If anybody knows or has heard anything about possible future uh, doings with uh, Aerial Rider, uh, by all means, uh, let us know in the comments. Seems like it's been a while, so I'm just curious as, as to what they're up to. Got to be something that they're working on, I'm sure. Anyway, um, if, they, if they do go 60 volt, I'm curious too as to whether they'll try a... Uh, I'm going to turn around here. If they'll try a um, 
gearless up motor possibly or maybe they'll even go with a mid-drive just curious on my on, on my end here as to what they'll do I say they should do a 60 volt or even 72 why not <clears throat> The other thing that would be nice is to uh, maybe go with a single battery instead of the dual uh, batteries on the uh, graffiti what, or on the uh, Grizzly. What if they uh, just went with one large, I don't know, 40 amp hour battery would be nice. Because right now the Grizzly has the 20 and 15 why not do two 20s and you combine them and make one big 40 amp hour battery i know it's going to weigh a bit but that kind of comes with the territory if you want a bigger battery you're going to have to deal with that weight right as well so i do like the fact that they came uh changed up the Grizzly with some new colors when they went to version 3 because when I got my version 2 all I had choice I didn't have a choice all I had to get the only one uh, option was for the red one so. but yeah I'm just uh, wondering where they're at and with the other bikes now as I say being out there for a while I think the Kepler, for sure it's been out over a year now, so uh, I'm not exactly sure. I didn't check that. I should have looked at that to see when exactly it did become available. At the time, I thought, you know, that was a popular and a good deal bike, but now the one that's uh, stealing the... Uh, the limelight would be the wired freedom uh, it's right in that same price range as the uh, Kepler with more speed and power and a bigger battery actually no not a I shouldn't say a bigger battery that's not right it's just more voltage though I'm more powerful but uh Anyway, uh, let's see what happens with uh, Let's see what happens with Aerial Rider. I think uh, we're getting into uh, toward the end of the year, so I think we're going to start hearing some uh, news on some new bikes and new bike models. And the other thing that's coming up uh, very shortly here will be the uh, Black Friday deal. So that's another thing too. Uh, everybody's standing still, so I'm gonna go. Let's see what kind of a what kind of deals are out there this year for Black Friday? I'm uh, interested to see what happens. I always uh, say this, that if you have the time to wait and you're not too anxious, I think the best time of the year to buy an e-bike, even though you can't ride it in a lot of places right away because of the uh, crappy weather, uh, winter weather, but I think Black Friday is probably the best time to buy a bike. Because I think some of the best deals out there are at on Black Friday or that week or sometimes somebody uh, some some will have an early bird sale but I think that's the best one uh, time to buy a bike so so if you want to chime in here and let us know what you think of 
what's going to happen in the future here with Aerial Rider, any new model and any guesses as to what they'll do. I don't know. I, I kind of think, I wouldn't be totally surprised if they, uh, like I say, if they came out with a folding bike, because those are kind of popular. I don't know the voltage. I think they're going to probably slip back to a 48 if they do one of those. Because I don't know, it's very rare, I think, that you'd find one of those that's bigger than a 48 volt. I don't know if there's a folding bike that's 52 or 60 volt, actually. But uh, I can't remember if there might be one out there, but... But I think uh, another one of these moped style, 60 volt, maybe a 2000 watt motor. Of course, the price is going to be rather high for that. That's just a guess on my part. I have no idea. If they do something like that, though, like a 60 volt and say 1500 or 2000 watt motor, a pretty good sized motor on it, and I think uh, they better put a full suspension. More and more bikes are coming out with that, and I think that is a good idea. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.